How to practice my skills with women when I'm a broke college student. That's like the best time. Like you're, you're filled with like an abundance of women. And also they don't really know. They're still like figuring their stuff out. So even if your game's not that good, odds are they'll be like, okay, anyway, like. It doesn't take they're much to impress a 19-year-old girl Yeah, they don't have any money, yeah, they don't they have don't have any money either. Too. Yeah, they're broke. As, they're still figuring this stuff out. They're in the same position as you. You're never, if you're in college, if you're a dude in college, you are never, ever again in your life going to be surrounded by that many beautiful, fit, in shape, and single women who are away from mom and dad for the first time and who are ready to get their freak on and live all of their fantasies out. And so become a guy who is friendly to everybody everywhere you go. The grocery store, putting gas in your car, at Starbucks, talk to people in line, wherever, and practice your small talk. And then when you practice your small talk with young and old people, beautiful girls, fat girls, old dudes, nice guys, grumpy people, whatever, when you get good at striking up small talk with anybody and everybody anywhere you go, you turn around when you're at the grocery store and there's the hottest thing you've ever seen, in your life is standing behind you smiling at you it's just small talk engage your own conversation and it'll it'll flow like butter but you got to practice as confucius said success depends upon prior preparation and without said preparation you're assured to be failure also maybe go into the food service industry wait tables or ten bar if you're a shy person because it forces you to talk to other people and engage with other people Go to beer and wine festivals. Go to food tasting festivals. Go to outdoor concerts or venues or just go to art shows or art fairs. Go do things where there's lots of people and lots of stuff you can talk about, like especially going to an art show. it's There's always tons of people around the paintings or the sculptures or whatever, and it's, it's a great venue to just be anonymous and ask questions about the art and what's there. And people, especially women, love to give you opinions on everything. Mm-hmm. And art is subjective, so you'll hear the rawest form. I mean, university campuses also do events as well, so there's also that. Yep. Join a fraternity. At your own risk. (laughs) And I speak from experience. Live in a dorm on campus. Find out where everybody hangs out. Go to the events. Tailgate parties. Tailgates. Be friendly. If you, you know, the other thing is like, because you got to call it, you know, in college, you're drinking. If you always got beer and drinks, it's like, you know, the, you know, everybody loves you. Everybody wants to come over and hang out with you. You got booze, you got good music. It's even if it's just you and a couple of your buddies, next thing you know, there'd be like a dozen cool, hot girls over there because mm-hmm. it makes it easy, then, when, especially when you're outnumbered. Or join like a couple clubs, like from school. Fraternity, maybe, like we're talking about. Not just. A fraternity. Unless you're a science geek, you got science I mean, clubs. You meet meet a really smart hot girl. Science geek. You have like save the turtles clubs where you yeah recycling activities. There's a lot of hot girls. Like the in Christian there. clubs. Girls love save clubs. the turtles clubs. Girls, girls love turtles. Girls love clubs and not just the ones that pop bottles. Like the ones That's that true. That, that are picking true. up bottles off the beaches and extracurricular activities are definitely the way to go. Yeah, for sure. Girls love that. Shit. There's a reason why they really love you that. pay the tuition that you pay when you're in college. It's not just learn your like education and just leave yeah, there you're is, use it to yeah. make social connections and yeah. it'll help you the rest of your life